hypertension called pulmonary arterial hypertension or PAH can impair breathing and result in weariness as well as chest pain. Unknown as to its specific source, the illness is characterized by increasing narrowing and blockage of the tiny pulmonary arteries in the lungs, stress on the right side of the heart, and ultimately death from heart failure. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about the new blood test found by researchers at the National Institute of Health to evaluate the severity of pulmonary arterial hypertension. This new blood test measures DNA fragments shed by damaged cells. Researchers found that these fragments called cell-free DNA were elevated in the blood of patients with PAH and increases with disease severity. Patients with PAH have a high death rate and the condition mostly affects women. Despite treatment advances, it currently has no cure. Current tests used to monitor PAH severity rely on established risk prediction scores based on clinical symptoms and on the use of an invasive catheter to measure pressure in the lungs. Doctors sometimes use echocardiography or heart imaging to measure pressures in the heart as an indirect measurement of lung pressure, but these tests tend to lack reliability and sensitivity both. In the current study, the research team analyzed cell-free DNA from blood samples taken from 209 adult patients, predominantly women. The researchers compared the results to cell-free DNA measured from a control group of 48 healthy volunteers without PAH at the NIH clinical center. They found that cell-free DNA was elevated in patients with PAH and also found that cell-free DNA concentrations increased in proportion to the severity of the disease. Patients with the highest level of cell-free DNA had a 3.8 times greater risk of either death or a need for lung transplantation compared to those with the lowest level of cell-free DNA, the researchers said. Further analysis of cell-free DNA samples revealed that multiple tissue types including the heart, blood vessels, fat tissue and inflammatory cells circulating in the blood were affected by PAH. This knowledge may lead to new drug interventions for PAH whose current treatment options may slow but not halt or reverse disease progression. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like subscribe and press the bell icon.